What's up, Jacob here. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Sportsman 247. Now, my family has had this boat for about a year now, so I've used this boat quite a bit. So this is an honest review of somebody that has used this boat a lot and knows what this thing has to offer. So I'm gonna cover the things I really like about this boat and the things that I don't like that much about this boat. I think it's gonna be easiest if we just start on the very back of the boat and work our way all the way to the front so we can try to cover every single thing. Now, right off the rip, I'll tell you a little bit of the technical stuff, um, gas mileage. I think the best we get is around like 3.2 to 3.5, which is actually really good for a boat. Um, I would say in not perfect conditions, we're probably usually gonna be right around three. I think we top out at like 49 miles per hour with our 300 horsepower Yamaha on back there. And just as far as like the smoothness of this ride, I've been very impressed if you know how to work the trim tops and the trim and all that, this boat actually rides insanely smooth. But let's go ahead and hop to the back of the boat and let's talk about the boat from the back to the front. Now you're gonna have to excuse a little bit of the mess and just pump on stuff. We keep this in our yard right now and keep it undercover. And we also just get back from the keys, so there's a little bit of stuff we still gotta clean up. But So we've got 300 horsepower Yamaha on here. We got the Sea Star jack plate. That thing is incredible. Love having that jack plate. It's got this ladder back here. The ladder could be a little bulkier, but I mean, it gets the job done. I haven't had any complaints while using it. It's actually pretty sturdy when in the water. So like that a lot. Trim tabs. Those are one thing you really need to learn how to use as they are just super important for like the smoothness of your ride and just going in and out, like offshore especially when it's a little bit rougher knowing how to drive with them, how to drive against them. Maybe I'll make a video on that at some point. We've got 10 foot power pole right there. Now this thing has been very useful at certain times. Um, I would say when fishing, it honestly gets kind of annoying sometimes. Even like fishing for mahi and stuff offshore, like we always gotta go like over it and around it. And sometimes it gets annoying, but it has been super useful for like sandbars or say like I hook up a fish and want to stop right there and not drift anymore. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, Garmin is right here. And I'll talk more about the trailer later, but the outside of the boat, we have, I think it's ice blue, not really sure. It's a light blue. The Sportsman logo is freaking beautiful. One thing I really like about this boat is the height that it's at. You can reach over and use these hatches, this and the lockers up here, the rod lockers you can reach as well from the ground. So back on top of the boat, this is the mess <laughs> that you're gonna have to ignore. It's just from all the trees up here, drop stuff on this boat and it, it comes off after cleaning, but yeah, that's just an annoying thing we gotta live with right now. Um, you can see it's a huge back deck that there's a lot of fishing space back here. Gunnels that you can walk all the way to the front. So this deck is super nice for like inshore style fishing. We've got live wells on both sides. They are insulated, so they're good for ice as well. If you wanna use them as an ice box or just storage, so those are on both sides. This one has the recirculating live wells as well as the bubblers. And one thing that you might need to just replace and check often is the little things that stop back there. You can use them as dry storage, but I would be aware because sometimes these can pop up if they're not strong enough or they just got a little loose. So I would probably never use those as dry storage just because these have a chance of letting water seep in. So that's one little tiny nitpicky complaint about those. Now this is really cool and I'm not completely sure Sportsman was the first to do it, but they were the first I've seen do it. So I'm gonna put this here. So this pops out and it's a huge bench seat that you can really fit like three to four people if they're smaller people, especially kids on here. And this you can either flip up and right now we have all of our life jackets and safety stuff in there, but this is a huge, area where you can access all of the maintenance that you have to do down there. And it also can come up like this as well if you want to get in. So that was really cool where you can reach everything. You can also use it as storage. There's places for buckets if you want to use it for that down there. And it just right back into your fishing deck like that. The drain system on this boat is honestly amazing. Water literally never piles up in this boat. So that is incredible. We got our raw water right here, raw water hose. The pads right there are awesome because when you have reels or stuff or anything that could like hit that wall, it kind of keeps your reels safe and then also the walls safe. This pad is nice for like leaning up against. Got the cleats here, cup holder for the people sitting back here in the back seat. 
we added some rod holders. So there's a crap ton of rod holders on this boat, as you can see. We've got, I think, let's see here, one, so we got six there, four here, so that's 10. That's one, two, three on each side, six, so 16, plus we have four more right there, 20, and then two on the front, so 22 rod holders all together on this boat, not including the rod locker storage in the front, so tons and tons of rod space on this boat. Now we got the Yeti slide out cooler. So all you do is just pop this and pull, and the Yeti slides all the way out. So that's nice. Just push it right back in and that locks. There's a little thing you can put to like really lock it in, but we've never used that and it's never come out. So this is pretty dang sturdy. You got storage here, some tackle storage. Now you can get different stuff done in this area of the boat. That's just what we did. And I'm pretty happy with our decision for that. Moving on to these chairs, they're actually really dang comfy. These slide down. I pretty much always just leave it up like this. I either stand here while driving or I honestly just sit on it like this. Um, it just helps me see a little bit better, but it's it, they're, they're really comfy seats for sure. Got the Sportsman helm pad, logos all over the place. Um, this knob pops out every now and then and we just pop it back in, but we take it off when driving just because it's been popping off. But I will say, <laughs> I went bougie and added the little comfort grip on this stuff and I'm happy I did that because it feels really nice. Jack plate knob right here, start system, our trim tabs here, radio here. I never really look at this, actually I do look at it sometimes because it shows you which way your rotor is facing, but that's for the Yamaha. We got the Garmin here, steering here, two cup holders, this is our for our power pole, we also have a remote for it, and then all of our lovely switches. So we've got our nav lights here, which are on for some reason. So that one stays in the middle. Our courtesy lights, under lights, so blue under lights, blue spreader lights. We got T-top lights, we got some blue T-top lights on the top as well. Underneath, there's blue lights as well, underneath the whole boat, it's beautiful at night. Um, these are nothing, fresh water, wash down. So that's fresh water, that's our raw water. Um, our two live wells, the air for the live wells, and then our bilge. This USB connects to the radio for music. We've got port over here for charging. We have space for another Garmin, but we didn't feel like spending the money, so we don't have that. This is honestly super nice. It's like a C-decked little platform, and I keep my phones here when I'm going full speed, and they never go anywhere, so this is really nice as well. A little platform for standing for the half tower. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show the half tower, and then we'll get back to the bottom of the boat. So Garmin there, access here, speakers here, there's lights there, light in the front, little light here. And then how you open up this is you just pull here. It's like a little moon roof. So that opens up and then we'll hop up there. So how I get up there is I put my foot on the cup holder. Now, if you're out and someone's getting up while you're driving, go ahead and put that thing into neutral and hit neutral hold. So even if while they're getting up, they accidentally kick that, it won't do anything because you're in neutral hold. So we hop on up, it's pretty easy. So we pretty much got the entire setup up here as well. So we got our steering, comfort grip, jack plate, cup holder, trim tabs. We got a little Garmin up here, the steering, got some rod holders. Pretty much the same seat style, just a different back. Got our rod holders here. So that's pretty nice, that's for the Minn Kota. Beautiful view from up here, the front deck. Oh, we're just gonna close that, doing the same thing. Back, push forward, and locked. All right, into the console storage. So it's actually pretty dang roomy in here. We have a toilet, sea deck, a little drain. This is where you turn the battery on. You got our trolling motor and battery chargers there. Trolling motor batteries under there and access under this to all of the goodies back there. There's a light up here on the top. And yeah, it's a lot of room. Like I can hop in, sit on this toilet. And so I'm just kind of chilling here. So it's really, yeah, it's not huge by any means, but I mean, it's it's better than most boats this size for sure. Beautiful logo there on the side. Walking to the front. We got that front seat right here that you can pretty much fit two people. That opens up and it is another live well or ice box. Now this one, the water doesn't actually fill in, so you can use this as dry storage if you want as well. So this is where the fresh water is. Open this up. Got our fresh water hose. Fresh water goes in here. 
comes out there and it's a nice little storage area as well and it's the step up to this front deck which is a beautiful huge front deck for inshore fishing now these holes right here i'll put on the screen now it is the seats that you can put up there as well for added seats now this is your rod locker storage so rods sit there and the holes are up there for the rods a bunch of room in there as well we keep a lot of snorkel gear in there when we're in the keys cup holders gas tank handles for the people that are sitting there same thing over here rod locker storage same exact idea this is pretty much a giant fish box slash storage so it is huge right now ours is broken our thing <laughs> came off but yeah huge ice box slash dry storage if you want it to be got our anchor locker up here that keeps the anchor in that's where the trolling motor plugs in and we have i believe a 36 volt 112 i believe is what the biggest one they have is 112 thrust yeah yeah, yeah. so we have the mincota tarova right there i pilot honestly the trolling motor is the most important thing for a boat in my opinion i think if your boat is small enough to have a trolling motor on it get a trolling motor it is probably the most useful thing i've ever used in my life when i'm fishing i use a trolling motor 90 percent of the time so it is super important to have that now all together this is one beautiful boat their design work and innovation i think is incredible and i think that's what sets them apart a little bit there's a lot of boats that sort of stay and just kind of how their boats are designed and i think sportsman is one of the companies that changes things up if they're not working and you can kind of tell in just the design and how it looks that they are a little bit ahead of the game when it comes to innovation and just kind of changing things up to kind of match what society wants today now like i said essentially the biggest thing i don't like is just not having that windshield on the center console and in their newest model they did change that so my biggest complaint is one that they actually changed i have honestly loved this boat um i think my area of florida is honestly the least usable area for a boat like this um i live in central florida so there's a lot and lot of shallow water fishing now this boat drafts like 16 to 17 inches which is incredible for a boat this size but a lot of the fishing i do i have to get through places that are literally like tiny little canals and like six inches deep so that's why i have my ginu that i use a ton but altogether, this boat is just incredible um my honest review is that out of i did a lot of research i looked at a lot of boats and when it comes to honestly like a family friendly boat that can still fish the crap out of some water this is the boat to get there's a lot of boats out there that are really good for like fishing or are good family boats but this boat i think is the best of both worlds when it comes to that there's so much comfortable seating you can fit a toilet in there and it still fishes very well and it's just a fishing machine so i think when it comes to having a family or just wanting a comfortable boat that you also are big fishermen or woman um I don't think you can beat the sportsman and um, that's just my personal opinion i think especially with a company that seems like they're going out of their way to make the decisions and the changes necessary to make the boat the best it can be um i've been very pleased with the sportsman so that is my honest review of the sportsman 247 if you have any questions post them down below i'm sure there's a lot i didn't talk about that i can answer some questions so um having owned this boat for a year i'll be happy to answer any of your questions and hopefully help you guys find the boat you want. Now this has really nothing to do with Sportsman. This is more the place you buy your boat from. Um, when it comes to trailers, make sure you tell them what trailer you want and get a trailer that is a little beefier than what you need. The trailer that we got our boat put on, which we, this was a first time buyer boat, so we didn't know much about it. They put us on a trailer that isn't really rated for our boat. It's like right on the cusp. So our trailer's pretty dang wobbly sometimes. Um, it's nothing that would like we feel uncomfortable like driving it, but it's just not ideal. We can feel the boat behind us. It shakes a little bit sometimes when we're going kind of fast. And I would just make sure that you get a trailer that is more than enough for your boat and just a trailer that you would like. Um, we have a Continental. Our buddy has, I think, an Ameritrail and his trailer is just looks a million times better so i would really look into the trailer and just find a trailer that you really like but yeah that does it for this video like i said if you have any questions comment them down below 
I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have about the Sportsman or any other of the boats that I've looked at. I looked at a ton, I did a lot of research, so um, feel free to ask me questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It means a lot. Helps me more than you guys know. Once again, I appreciate you. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.